A blink and you'll miss it Black Panther related cameo in Thor 4 could have massive story ramifications for Phase 4 of the MCU. Keep watching for the major Black Panther cameo you probably missed in Thor Love and Thunder. Warning, spoilers ahead. Thor Love and Thunder is out in theaters now, and the titular hero is up against a new foe. Gore the God Butcher is on a mission to kill all gods across the universe, a ruthless rampage that leads him to the shores of New Asgard. While Gore's actions threaten to usher in a new age of chaos, Thor is faced with the return of his ex-girlfriend, Dr. Jane Foster, who now bears the mantle of the mighty Thor. It's a complicated time for the God of Thunder. Jane? One of the film's core strengths is that it explores the mysterious lives of the gods and goddesses that populate the mythologies of various cultures. Although we've seen Norse gods like Odin, Loki, and Frigga, the latest Thor franchise installment introduces viewers to a variety of deities in Omnipotent City, a gilded temple where gods can partake in heavenly debauchery away from the woes of mankind. The star-studded lineup of deities is key to the plot, but also provides the opportunity for levity within a narrative that's as serious as it is silly. Some of the faces of the gods are more recognizable than others, including one figure who should be familiar to fans of the MCU. With Gore in possession of the Necro Sword, our heroes know that they'll need to raise a formidable army to defeat him and ensure the safe return of Asgard's youth. To accomplish that goal, Thor, Jane, Valkyrie, and Korg hitch up a converted amusement park ride and head to Omnipotent City. While Thor tries to iron out a deal with the inevitably pompous Zeus, viewers are privy to a glimpse of the gods and goddesses assembled, including the exceedingly adorable God of Dumplings. However, there's an even more interesting idol in attendance, the panther goddess Bast, whose lore is extremely important to the Black Panther franchise. Although Bast only appears in flashback as a shadowy feline figure in the 2018 solo film starring Chadwick Boseman, viewers finally get to see the goddess in full physical form in Thor Love and Thunder. Played by actress and singer Akosia Sabet, Bast returns to the MCU for the first time since her premiere appearance. Knowing Kevin Feige's proclivity for Easter eggs and callbacks, it's unlikely to be her last. You never forget your first. Her visage isn't as bombastic as some of the other deities seated around her but her catty and helmets and golden ornaments still draw the eye. Her appearance is brief, but her presence cements director Taika Waititi's attention to detail. Even though Thor is off Earth going on his own adventures, the moment reminds viewers that the events of the film correlate to a larger narrative. Within the Marvel canon, the panther goddess has been worshipped since around 10,000 BC. Bast is an African deity that can take a male or female form. As the source of the magic that imbues the Black Panther with their powers, Bast is revered in Wakanda. In the comics, the late King T'Challa's sister, Shuri, takes the opportunity to stand before Bast, though she is deemed too immature to become the next Black Panther. However, Shuri does eventually take up the mantle and become Queen of Wakanda, a journey that could be utilized for the upcoming film adaptation. Whether or not Wakanda Forever makes use of that particular storyline, it makes sense that the Panther Goddess would play some kind of role in the narrative. Bast's existence in Omnipotent City could also hint at what's to come in Phase 4. The goddess also has ties to Victor Von Doom, who will ultimately become Doctor Doom, and Reed Richards, whose appearance in Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness could be teasing a classic Marvel Comics storyline called Secret Wars. Bast is also the half-sibling to the god Khonshu from Moon Knight, a connection that provides an opportunity for Marvel to flesh out the minor characters it's introduced over the years. Whatever it means for the big picture, Bast's appearance is a fun detail to look out for whenever you watch Thor Love and Thunder. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Looper videos about Thor Love and Thunder are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.